Got myself two new big black rings of happiness. So uh, let's fit them up. First things to get them into shape. So I uh, just unroll them, flatten them out into their proper roundish shape, and I'll just leave them in the sun for a while. That should get all the little kinks out where they were folding up in packaging. Got the dissector again for the front. So I've just taken the aggressor off, which I had on the front for a while. I've, I've swapped between the um, dissector and the aggressor on front and rear just to see if there's any difference. Couldn't really feel any difference. Uh, I think from a rolling resistance point of view, the uh, dissector's probably a little bit better. At least it's supposed to be on paper. Come good. <clears throat> Look at that. Love it. Don't know why rubber gets me so excited. The rear is just a repeat of the front. Still got the valve core. This rim is a little bit on the dodgy side. I think it's got a few leaks, to say the least. No liquid left in this one. Hmm. That's a worry. I thought I topped them both up a few weeks ago, but this one's totally, uh, totally dry. See a bit of a, uh, a lump of latex there. Uh, that's probably from where the bike sat for three months without me using it. So for the back, I've got a Minion Semi Slick. Never tried one of these before. Um, it's supposed to be good for rolling resistance. You can see the little tiny knobs in the center there and the big grippy side knobs. Whatever, we'll see. I'm sure everyone's going to cringe when I don't line up my uh, labels on the uh, side of the tire with the valve. I can use syringe, I've got this 60ml syringe that I got off um, eBay. Hard to find in chemists because nobody wants to inject that much stuff in themselves, but, uh, but basically that fits inside the valve. But the problem is with the tubeless fluid, it has a lot of granules in it and it tends to block up the nozzle and everything, so it's a little bit fiddly to get it in there. It's easier to do it this way, but if you're doing a sort of midlife top up, then uh, you definitely want to use the, uh, use the syringe. First time, dead easy. Uh, stick the valve core back in, and then we can pump it up to pressure and give it a bit of a swish around to seal it all up. Now let's go for a ride. All right, test ride. So I came out to Old Man's Valley, I was going to go out to Yellamundi, but um, it's actually the same distance as coming all the way out to Hornsby and the trails here are nicer. So let's see what we can do. Sweet. on there. <laughs> okay. Don't remember there being two trails off that point. Righto, that bit's closed. Okay, let's try again.
Okay. It's a nice little gap. Come on, class. Thank you. Go down. <laughs> Bit too slow into that. Felt the back wheel clip the log on the way down. swapped out my rear disc rotor the new one I bought uh, El Cheapo from uh, AliExpress it was uh, very thin and uh, basically as I went over bumps uh, it would vibrate and knock the pads back so I've gone back to my old second hand Hope disc which is performing much better How are the new tyres going? First impressions, I really can't tell any difference. <laughs> uh, maybe got a little bit more cornering grip, which is to be expected. Uh, but uh, the ground's a little bit moist here anyway, so it's very grippy. It's not like the Yu Yangs where I'm used to riding. <coughs> it's much clearer to tell at the Yu Yangs when you put new tyres on, because uh, you can really feel them bite in a lot better. As for the better rolling resistance on the rear tyre, uh, yeah, maybe. Probably a small difference there, slightly easier to pedal. Uh, but it is a little bit, not a lot. Um, but heck, every little bit's worth it. Even 5% gets me a 5% longer ride, so. Uh, I don't regret my purchases. Minion SS on the back and the uh, dissector on the front, which I've had before on the front. So I do like the dissector, it's a pretty good, good bitey tyre for cornering. But yeah, first time in a Minion SS and uh, I've not seen any negatives at this point. So there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you found this uh, entertaining at least. <laughs> See ya.